Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with our April 2016th update. Well, of course, uh, well, we've had a bit of heat going on. Uh, it's come in and melted a lot of, uh, well, our snow away. Um, and it's starting to get uh, comfortable outside where a guy can get outside and do a little bit of work. You know, get into the uh, garage here, do some uh, uh, projects in there, whether it's uh, bicycle repairs or work on the garage itself. Well, pretty much I've already done a few uh, dump runs of the season. I got a few things hauled away, cleaned up, uh, gave away, whatever you want to call her. Of course, there is still a few more things to do. Um, as you can tell by the yard, I got to turn my focus now on the yard itself. Um, pretty much that pile of goodies there is for the fire pit channel. Uh, I need to uh, start uh, filming those when I got time coming up here. It's just a matter of balancing uh, everything out, getting uh, weather to cooperate, your you know life to, to, to uh, cooperate and everything to fall into place and then that all works great. Well of course behind the doors of the garage here there is a surprise that I'm not going to show you guys a spoiler of. Uh, there will be a video uh, coming up here and I guess you could say videos coming up here on uh, well what's behind the door so we'll leave that uh, to your imagination. Well, the old uh, canyon, I guess you could call it, uh, well, not really old, but I guess uh, it is what it is. Um, it did, uh, well, very, very well throughout the winter and the wet uh, few weeks there. Um, like all new vehicles, there are uh, recalls that do happen to it. And, uh, well, the dealership has been great and really out of the, uh, I think it's only been, um, you know, six or seven recalls only two of them have really actually applied to uh, this here truck itself the other ones um, either didn't apply to it or they weren't uh, you know part of the batch that the parts came from well of course the back uh, driveway uh, well now is completely clear of snow I guess uh, it didn't nearly flood as bad this year as what it has in the past I suppose bringing it up that uh, inch or two when I did the deck project, all that gravel back here uh, helped that greatly. Well, of course, the outbuildings, like the sheds and such, have survived another winter. Uh, this shed here, um, I would like to maybe go a different direction uh, with it on the roof side of things. When I built this year's shed, I didn't quite understand uh, geometry and you know, building roofs and things like that. So of course, um, I built it the way I figured it was the easiest to build, giving the overhead obstructions that I had. Well, of course, like a lot of us, uh, we've got rid of our home phone. So therefore, this low-lying home phone line uh, can now be removed and got rid of, which means a guy could put a well, proper roof on this now. I'm just not 100% sure if I want to do that this season or wait to see how things uh, play on out. It'd be nice to put a proper uh, roof on it. Then you'll end up with another uh, foot or two of storage um, even further above your head for long term things. Well, coming up in the next uh, you know couple of weeks, I got some more stuff I'm wanting to do. Uh, this corner of uh, goodies kind of stuff I fired in this corner. Uh, throughout the winter time I want to go through um, Some of these pails were for a project that I you know kind of was collecting pails for so if I can stack these uh, Neatly in the corner. I'll keep them um, If not, you know, of course, they're gonna have to go Well the uh, trailer um, Kind of thing right here child carrier you probably remember from uh, past videos uh, there should be a second one around here that uh, we heavily modified for hauling recyclables. I have to dig those out and give them a once over. Uh, the lawn mowers in the back uh, were meant to be winter dissection projects, but this winter, uh, well, didn't uh, happen the way I wanted it to, so we'll have to play about that one by ear as time progresses. 
Well, obviously the Beachcomber B15 uh, is still here. Hasn't really made uh, any progress or nothing. I do have the itch to uh, dig into it, tear it on down. I just don't know if uh, this is the year to do it with, uh, well, finances the way they are, or if I should leave it in one piece, just uh, clean it out, and if something happens, then it can be sold for, you know, very minimal dollars without a lot of hassle. Well, of course, uh, one of these days I gotta make me run out and uh, clean out the uh, canyon here. I want to give it its spring uh, once over, its spring wash job. Um, it's been a while since it's been through a car wash because while I've been um, focusing my uh, funds on other areas and I don't like to have a new vehicle while well, looking you know, this way. Well the old Silverado is uh, still around. It's uh, well doing fairly well. Again, if I uh, had a holiday trailer or I had something where I was going to use it every weekend, I would probably have to run this into the shop, get the front end looked at, you know, just as a precautionary measure. That's one of the things, if you're an experienced driver or an or a alert driver, you know when your vehicle is making weird noises or when it feels uh, different from what it normally felt you know that there could potentially be a larger problem so therefore that's when you run it in you don't wait until after the wheel falls off and then you go well you know I turned up the stereo and it was perfectly fine you know of course um, now that the snow has melted and a majority of the ice and such is gone before things start to grow and green up I got to do my spring cleanup of course this wonderful spruce tree always sheds its needles it always uh, is a pain so I want to blow all this down uh, clean up the remainder of the leaves that were around uh, in the fall get those all cleaned up I don't 100% know how the uh, year or season is gonna go I know I had this on the agenda for last uh, summer but it didn't come about I'd like to gut this front yard. I get rid of all these bricks and rock and such. The uh, dump um, attendant says that all this can go out in the concrete pile out at the landfill. So that's pretty sweet there. There'll be no extra hassle other than having to shovel it on and shovel it off. So uh, that'll be the only, the only hassle if you want to say. I'd like to get rid of all of this pretty much take it back to bare uh, bare grass this uh, whole corner and then uh, you know start start from scratch I don't hundred percent know with along the sidewalk here what I'd like to do there I don't know if I want to just strip it all and start it all over again because basically it's been 10 years and uh, well, it is time for a cleanup, a change up, you know, to get things, uh, you know, refresh, renew, uh, kind of things like that. It's weird in the summertime, uh, this side of the grass grows really, really well. Nice green and thick, but the other side, well, it doesn't grow hardly at all. Well, of course, as for the uh, channels um, across, well, all three or all four of them, if you want to say, uh, they're growing at a, uh, a steady or slow pace. Uh, the vlogging channel hasn't had a new subscriber in a month or two, but it is still getting its normal uh, two or three views uh, per video. You know, again, vlogs is not everybody's thing, but uh, when it is, people do, uh, do watch it. I try to keep my uh, thumbnails and my titles uh, current to the vlog and I've noticed that if I word the vlog or the vlog title in such a way as it sounds dramatic I'll actually get more views where if I say it as it is and what it is then uh, people don't don't want to watch it and that's a little odd there uh, the Maxwell's World Channel is sitting at 729 subscribers which is pretty sweet 
Um, you know, I gained uh, you know a few more between well this month and last month. Again, I thank all my uh, regular subscribers that have been here all along, as well as the new ones. You know, welcome to uh, well the channel. As summer progresses, things will get uh, will get better. Progress, you know, will be made. Projects will uh, come about, and uh, new things will come in. Again, with the economy the way it is, um, things might be a slower pace this year. But uh, hey, you know, we're kind of all in this together. I'm not the only one that's uh, feeling the pinch. Some of us are feeling it harder than others. And uh, well, there, and there are others that are feeling it worse than what some of us already are. Of course, the Fire Pit Channel, well, it will uh, hopefully come about in the next uh, month or so. I wasn't able to film it, uh, film the videos I wanted to last month. But uh, this month, I'd like to get at her and, well, get her on done. So, of course, guys, uh, stay tuned for the channels. Check out the Facebook and, uh, well, the Twitter. Uh, basically, the social medias. The links are down below. If you want to join up, follow, you know, send me tweets, messages, whatever. Um, you know, feel free to. I will respond when I can. I am still learning a lot of this uh, messaging thing back and forth. And... Uh, sometimes the internets don't, uh, well, cooperate when I need them to, and um, other times, well, it just uh, gets forgot about until three or four weeks later when I come across all the emails of the missed messages. Thanks for joining us on this wonderful April 2016 update, and as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.